Hi, and welcome back to Educator.com. Our lesson today will be minor triads. So our lesson objectives will be similar to the lesson on major triads. We're going to explore um, and explain the root, third, and fifth in a minor triad. Um, we'll also look at patterns of half notes and how to find a minor third and then a fifth in, in minor keys. And we'll also be transposing minor triads in, into various keys. So we understand how to play a minor chord in every key. So let's begin with our first relatively easy key, C minor. So we've been taking C as our beginning note for a lot of the other ma major exercises. So we're going to do the same thing for the minor exercise. Um, so let's find our C on the keyboard. Here's our C. And this is the root. We're starting with a C. This is the root of our chord. As you remember from our major lesson, the root of the chord is the bottom note, the tonic note of the, our key is C. So C is our, our tonic, our home key. This is our first note, our root C. So then in a major triad, as you remember, the next two notes are the third and fifth scale degrees. In minor, this is still true. In the minor key, as you remember, let's write out our scale degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll be using only the first five notes to find our chord on the one of the scale. So we only have a flat three to worry about. As you remember from our other minor lessons, six and seven are the other notes in the scale that get altered when we're converting major to minor. We're only worrying about the first five notes of the scale here. So all we're worrying about is the flat three. So in the key of C, normally there's no flats, there's no sharps. When we go to C minor, we take the third, which is an E, and we lower it one half step to an E flat. So our third scale degree in minor will be an E flat. The fifth scale degree, G, does not change. That stays the same, so G is regular. When we're labeling our chords, the minor triad, as you remember, is labeled a capital Roman numeral one. Minor is lowercase to indicate that this is not, in fact, a major chord. This is a minor chord. We use lowercase Roman numerals. So moving on, let's find the third. As you also remember from our last lesson, there's a method to finding the third scale degree in a chord when you're in a major key. That method is using a five half step pattern from the root. You also may be aware of the key signature. So we'll first use our half note pattern to find the third, and then we'll use our knowledge of the key signature. So G is always the fifth. So we're right now we're worried about finding the third. Let's look at this on the keyboard and a C major chord. <laughs> Easy because there's no flats, there's no sharps, all white keys, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's count half steps. Um, from the first scale degree to the third scale degree in a major scale is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, in the minor scale degree, we use four half steps, one, two, three, four. There's our minor third. And adding the fifth on there, this is our minor chord. So one, two, three, four half steps. If you remember the key of C minor, which is three flats, we can just count up the scale. One, two, three. There's our minor third. So the next um, part of this is going to be locating our fifth scale degree. So we can use that knowledge of the key signature, and we can find C, E flat, G by just playing up the scale, one, two, three, four, five. We also may use our half note pattern. So between the first, between one and three in minor, you remember we use four half steps, is four half steps. Between three and five, the third and fifth scale degrees in minor, is five half steps. Okay, so let's count. We have a keyboard to use that counting on. Okay, so 
from C to E flat is one, two, three, four. Four half steps. From E flat to the fifth, we'll count five half steps. One, two, three, four, five. We always begin counting on the note. So our one is C, one, two, three, four. When we arrive at our minor third, we use this minor third as the jumping off point for our next set of half steps. So between the third scale degree and the fifth scale degree is five half steps. One, two, three, If you remember, this is the opposite of the major chord. The major chord between the first and the third has five. Half steps between the third and the fifth has four. In minor, between the first and the third, we have four half steps. And between the third and the fifth, we have five half steps. They're opposite. The major chord is built with a major third on the bottom and a minor third on top. The minor chord is built with a minor third on the bottom and a major third on top. Okay, so let's move on.